Okay, this is Gail here. This is my first video that I've tried talking on. Um, since I learned how to use the camera, I'm going to try and take some movies of trees instead of just pictures. Now, this time of year, we've got uh, much more pronounced examples of what, in my opinion, is uh, um, an example of ozone damage. This is my little Japanese maple tree, and you can see that it's got nice, fresh new leaves compared to the older leaves that are damaged. And also, it, part of it's that they're older and been out in the ozone longer, and part of it's that there's more ozone when it's hot in the summer. Uh, and right now it is September 25th. So this is my river birch tree that I planted about four or five years ago, and it's got the same symptoms of older foliage being damaged, darkened, and the newer foliage that is healthier. Uh, here's my tulip tree planted at the same time as the river birch and the same exact issues. The inner leaves that have been around longer are very damaged. We've had no frost yet, not frost. Um, and the newer leaves are relatively greener and healthier. And here's my sycamore, planted at the same time. I did it all in the same summer. I love sycamore trees. So the older leaves are in very bad shape, while the newer leaves are better. And of course, they've all lost a lot of leaves, so they're very thin. The inner older leaves have fallen off. And here's a hydrangea, same kind of action going on. The oldest leaves are not making chlorophyll, so they're discolored, and the younger leaves are still green. Now this is a black walnut tree. It has Virginia creeper vine climbing up it. it. Turns a nice bright red in the fall. But here you can see, it's a little early for it to be turning color anyway, but the new leaves are still green, and the old leaves are damaged. They have holes in them. They just look pretty terrible. So never fear, the weeds need to photosynthesize too, and they can't either. This is ragweed, giant ragweed, and the older leaves have the same pattern of damage. Ugh. Here's another sycamore. Same story, younger, newer leaves, still green and the older, lower leaves have ozone symptoms. And this tree is a catalpa, also planted at the same time as the other ones a few years ago. It's grown a lot, but it's got very obvious newer green foliage. And here's what the treetops look like around here right now in September. I guess we're not going to have much fall color this year because things are pretty much gone. And it's not just my farm. Please don't anyone leave a comment that it's in my just my neck of the woods because it's all over. And this is a Japanese fringe tree. It's very unhappy. Just too bad. In the summer it has these beautiful white fringy flowers that hang down and smell wonderful. But I don't know if this bush is going to come back at all in the spring. Looks pretty bad. So you can see the same issue with the raspberry bush. Here's some leaves that have emerged rather recently. There you can see on the left there's an older leaf and then on the right they're fine. 
Here's some more of the treetops as we get closer to the house. Now, see this is pathetic because here's a really giant old black walnut. It's uh, on the hedgerow, so it missed getting uh, cut down when this was a dairy farm a long time ago, and there were um, cows grazing here. But along the hedgerow, the old trees were left, so I don't know, it might be a hundred, a couple hundred years old. That was a mosquito. Anyway, I got hit by lightning. Um, uh, I don't know, several years ago, eight, nine years. And look, it still, still lives. I mean, trees can really take a lot of abuse. So all that says to me is that when they're dropping their leaves like this, there's something really wrong. Now, most of the trees here are really lousy trees that just kind of came up uh, after the dairy farm was abandoned. Um, so it's a lot of ash and black walnut. These up here on the hill, though, uh, there's some maples, and they gave me much joy because they weren't junky trees like the ash and the black walnut, but um, they used to turn bright, bright, bright orange in the fall. And now they're turning brown. <laughs> But yeah, we're not going to have orange maples this year.